Well, this was Patrick Walterman's home fire station. They call them the 25s, and today hundreds of people lined the street here, stood in the cold for hours, waiting for this procession and waiting for what happened next. For many, the procession was most moving. Overwhelming. When it stopped. I think the part that got me the most is when uh, Hamilton's engine stopped in front of the firehouse here. At the very fire station Patrick Walterman worked, the appearance of his casket on his engine froze time as hundreds of people watched silently in an honor that needed no words. These are the firefighters who volunteered to fill in at the Hamilton Fire Station, so those who usually take the calls here could be at the services. And the calls keep coming. You know the job has to go on. Uh, you know, the, the public depends that we're there. All of those taking on the temporary duty here, or the 25s feel, it's a privilege to be here. We feel it pretty much to our hearts, and uh, it's the best thing we can do is to come out here and try to do the best we can in honoring him. Liberty Township firefighter Adam Chappelle and Cincinnati Fire Lieutenant Greg Martin are highly aware of the footsteps they're following today. This is, you know, where he came in that morning, where he put his gear on in the morning, not knowing that it was his day, unfortunately. And from here on out, as firefighters' future respond to calls. The memory of Patrick Walterman will go with them. And the firefighters filling in here today, well, they're not being paid. They're volunteering their time, and they tell me they wouldn't have it any other way. Reporting live, Brian Hamrick, WLWT News 5. No doubt about that, Brian. Thank you. The firefighters who started filling in this morning will be on the job until 6 o'clock this evening when the next shift of Hamilton firefighters return to work tonight. People lined Route 4 in Fairfield as the procession headed south to Spring Grove Cemetery today. Adults and children took time away from their families to honor a man who kept their community safe. Route 4 was lined with American flags as the fire truck carrying Walterman's body went by the busy, busy business district there near Jungle Gyms. Outside the entrance to Spring Grove Cemetery, more of the same here. Police officers involved in the procession lined the entrance to the cemetery with their motorcycles to take a moment and salute this fallen firefighter. There were also dozens of onlookers there as well to show their thanks for his sacrifice today.